Welcome to the Rock Class Videos Pebbles Edition. This is Learning Your Bible Facts with Miss Rhonda. Hi kiddos, welcome back for another Bible Fact Video. I am so excited to be with you today. I love knowing that you're working so hard to memorize these amazing Bible facts. You know, the more Bible facts you know, the better you get to know your Bible, the better you get to know the Word of God. And I am thrilled to have you here with me learning these awesome, these amazing Bible facts. Well, today's Bible fact is called whatever. That's an interesting thing. So let's find out whatever, whatever means. First off, the Apostle Paul wrote the letter. Remember that big old fancy word epistles? He wrote the epistle to the people, the brethren in Philippi. So he wrote the Philippian letter. And so we call it the book of Philippians. Well, in the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter, verse 9, Paul tells the brethren there, he tells the Christians there to think about some very important things. And so I want to share with you the things that Paul tells us that God wants us to think about. So the first thing I want to do is talk about all of them, and then we're going to talk about them individually. Paul says, finally, brethren, whatever things are true, Whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, and whatever things are pure. Whatever things are lovely, and whatever things are of good report. And if there's any virtue, and if there's anything praiseworthy, think on these things. So God is wanting us to fill our mind to fill our heart with good things. He wants us to think about good things. So let's talk about them. Whatever things are true. You know, true means accurate, correct, right. Well, I'll show you this picture here. This little boy, he is reading his Bible. Well, that's true, that's accurate, and that's correct. So he's thinking on things that are true. And we need to think on things that are true. Whatever things are noble. Noble, that means humble, honorable, and upright. So we need to think about things that are wholesome, upright, honorable, humble. You know, this person here has just read their Bible story and they're sharing it with their friend. They're sharing these honorable things, these upright things, these things that are worthy to be talked about. You know, when we share things that are noble, we talk about things that are noble, we think about things that are noble, we have a happy heart, we have a pure mind towards God, and it makes God happy. So whatever things are true and whatever things are noble, we're supposed to be thinking about. <gasps> whatever things are just. Well, to be just means to be fair, honest, impartial, and upright. So we've used a picture here of a family playing a game. You know, games have rules and we have to follow the rules for the game to be played right. And we have to be fair. And we have to be just. And we have to think about the rules and make sure that they're applying to everyone. Well, that's a just thing to do. And God wants us to think about things that are just. It wouldn't be fair to cheat when we're playing a game. That's not just. It wouldn't be fair to not make someone follow the rules that wouldn't be just. But God tells us to think about just things. So when we're playing our games, or when we're interacting with others, we want to be fair. We want to be just. We want to be honest and impartial. That is being just. And God says to think on just things. 
whatever things are pure. Well, pure means clean, innocent, good, and moral. God wants us to be with friends who are clean, innocent, good, and moral. We need to be hanging out with friends who talk in a godly, in a good way. We need to be hanging out with friends who aren't mean with their words or talk mean about other people. We need to be around people who are honest with their words, who are good with their words, who are innocent with their words, who are clean with their words, and who are moral with their words. You know, I don't like to hear dirty words. I hope you don't either. And they kind of feel like they burn my ears when I hear it. And so we don't want to be hanging out with people who talk in a dirty way or who aren't innocent in the way they talk or who are bad with the words they say or who are immoral with the words they say because we want to think about the things that are pure. Whatever things are lovely. All right. Things that are lovely are things that make you smile on the inside. You know, they're beautiful. They're charming. They're graceful. They're pleasant. I'm thinking about this little girl here sharing lemonade with her mom. It makes you smile on the inside. Think about a newborn baby. Oh, that makes you smile on the inside. You know, we are to think about lovely things. And God wants us to use our minds to think about lovely things. If we're thinking about lovely things, we're thinking about godly things. God wants us to use our mind to think of things that are lovely. It will change your attitude. It'll change your behavior if you're thinking on these things. Whatever things are of good report. In other words, things that are beneficial. We need to be thinking about things that are beneficial to us. Things that are decent. That means clean. We need to be thinking about things that are fine, pure. And that's what good report means. So this little girl has giving a report of her day to her mom before she goes to bed. She's telling her all the good things that happened that day. She shared with her friends. Her friends shared with her. They read a good book together. It was a nice, clean book. They are kind to me at school. I love my friends. Those are things of good report. And that makes God happy when we are thinking of good things. We are thinking of things with a good report. If there's any virtue. All right, well, virtue means right action, right thought, goodness, and morally good. Look at those children there. They're attending Bible class. That's the right action. That's right thoughts. That's goodness. And that's morally good for you to attend Bible class. Listen to your teachers. Learn about the Word of God. Learn what God wants us to do. And then do it every day. Practice it in our lives. That is what is of virtue. Doing the right thing. Having the right actions. And if there's anything praiseworthy, I love this picture here. This young man is helping this lady here. That's praiseworthy. Good job. Thank you for doing that. You're awesome. Well, that means it's commendable and it's deserving praise. So if there's anything praiseworthy, think on these things. I like to think about helping others. That's a good thing to do. How can I help someone who's sick? Maybe I should send them a card. Maybe I should take them soup. Maybe I should go visit them as long as I don't get sick too. All right, so... Those are things that are praiseworthy. If you find out your friend did something good, praise them for that. Tell them that's a great thing to do because that's the kinds of things that God wants us to be thinking about. So we are to think 
on those things. You know, if we're busy thinking about things that are true and thinking about things that are noble and thinking about things that are just and pure and things that are lovely and of good report and we're thinking about things that are virtuous and things that are praiseworthy, we're filling our hearts, we're filling our minds with good things to think about. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to use our heart and our mind to think about good things. Think about things that will help others. Think about things that will help us obey God. God wants us to use our mind and use our heart for thinking on good things. All right, kiddos. So let's quickly go over what Paul said. He said, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely and of good report, and if there's any virtue, and if there's anything praiseworthy, think on these things. All right, kiddos, I have a song I want to teach you that will help you memorize all the things we're supposed to be thinking of. And it goes like this. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, Whatever things are noble and just and pure, whatever things are lovely and of good report, if there's any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, think on these things. Philippians 4 verse 9. Think on those things. All right, kiddos, this week I want you to work really hard to memorize all the things we're supposed to be thinking about. You know, if you memorize the things we're supposed to be thinking about, then you'll be thinking about the things we're supposed to be thinking about. And that will make God very happy because God wants us to use our minds to think on good things. And Paul tells us, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, Whatever things are just and pure, whatever things are lovely and of good report, and if there's any virtue, and if there's anything praiseworthy, think on these things. All right, kiddos, work hard this week to memorize that. I love you, Mwah! and I will see you next time with another Bible Fact video.